think that's new. This is a tote bag, brand new from 1984. Magic Catch Puppet. The 21st century begins on October 1st, 1982. This is crazy. This is the preview for the Epcot. Welcome to Flippin' and Punchin'. My name is Rod. Now, you guys may recognize me. I have a second channel called Pickin' and Punchin'. This is going to be our brand new channel, but this channel is going to be more designed for behind the scenes. Give you a little backstory in today's video. We're going to do a deep dive into this massive Disney collection we bought. Now, if you guys haven't seen my original video here, I'll put the link down in the description down below. It's on our second channel, Pickin' and Punchin'. I met a lady. Her sister passed away over 20 years ago, and she had her Disney collection that's been sitting in storage for over 25 years. So we went there. It was about 17 totes filled with stuff. We went through some of the totes. We didn't go through everything there. So we really don't know everything that we did buy. We paid 650 bucks for that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through these totes with you. You know, we're probably going to go through about four or five totes today. We'll go through, show you guys what we picked up. So let's jump into this. All right. So one of the first items that we actually picked up is this Mickey Mouse Turnover Choo Choo. This is actually brand new in the box. This is actually from 1972, 73 based on my research and I couldn't find any comps online. I only found used ones going for about 30 bucks. Um, I did go back on worth, worth point and look. The last one actually sold brand new. One sold for 200 bucks in 19, uh, 2021. So um, there's none brand new listed. So I, I'm going to list this up for about two to 300 bucks and see what type of uh, offers we get. So there's a big portion of money back there. Originally I thought it was going to be about a hundred bucks brand new. Um, wasn't really sure just based on it because there's no comps at the time and used ones were only going for about 20 30 bucks all right so i moved inside the garage it's so windy outside and i want to make sure you guys can actually hear and uh don't have that wind blowing here but we did buy this disney play set here this came in um this is another big item that we did see there this is if this is complete we're probably looking at about 7500 bucks if it's not we're probably looking at about 40 50 bucks so What the heck? No, is this new? Holy crap, this is actually brand new. I didn't know this was freaking... I didn't know this was brand new. Yeah, look at the tape. The tape is yelling. Yeah, I think it's brand new in the box. Put on these figures. Actually, those figures look brand new, but these other figures don't look brand new. These are in individual spots. Yeah, this track's brand new in here. I mean, she was a Disney collector, so I mean... That's insane. If that thing is new in box, I mean, we're talking, I mean, look at that right here. Manufactured, I don't know if you guys can see that. Manufactured for Kmart. That's insane. So, I mean, maybe this would be a couple hundred bucks. I don't know. All right, let's jump into this first tote. See what we get. This is interesting. Brand new preschool Walt Disney Mickey Mouse. It's gotta be from the 80s. I mean, look at this. Big Bendems. I have no idea what comps with any of this stuff, so I'm gonna have to pop some up on the screen. I mean, that's super cool. I mean, this is super cool. This is a bank. Mickey Mouse Bank. It's definitely old. Probably 70s. There's an old Fantasia alarm clock. No year in any of this stuff. So I'm going to do some research. That is super cool though. I love Fantasia. What a great movie. All these little mystery boxes because you never know what you're going to get in these. Oh. Excuse me. Look at that. Old Disney snow globe. The first 
limited edition. So this is the first limited edition Donald Duck snow globe, crystal snow globe. That's gotta be worth some money. You guys that don't know, Disney snow globes actually sell really, really well. Looks like a garbage can full of stuff. It's old Mickey Mouse glass. You can tell it's definitely old, but look at the, the, how Mickey Mouse is on there. All right, what do we get in this? What the hell is this? What is this? The moon landing? Walt Disney. Mickey Mouse. Walt Disney World. Some of these are really tarnished. Don't know what that one is. Doesn't have any markings on them. Bradford Silver Plate. Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. Oh, these are all Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse, Mickey Mouse. So these are from probably Bradford Exchange, I'm assuming? Branford. Branford Silver Plate. I don't know. You guys know anything about these please let me know all right so this is glass top there's glass top so i'm assuming this is probably the glass bottom of it what is this for good little boys a little dirty inside there but that's actually super cool mickey mouse that's gotta be old These old advertisement stuff actually can do really well. So, always keep an eye out for this stuff. I mean, look at this. This is actually, does it have a year in this? 1986 Mickey Mouse catalog. Man, this is cool. I mean, look at those clothes. If you had those clothes right now, they'd be worth tons of money. Oh, this is awesome. How many of you guys actually had some of these toys back in the 80s? I mean, I know I had some of these VHS tapes right here. But I mean, this bedspread. These bookends. Oh man, look at these Mickey Mouse and look at these Disney golf club covers. Talking toothbrush. That's so cool. I'll put that aside. So, oh, it looks like a garbage can inside of a garbage can. 50 years of magic. Happy birthday, Mickey. Made in USA. That is really cool. Little. Those that don't know, man, these old metal garbage cans actually do really well. Disneyland garbage can. There's another one. A little dented. Not in the best condition. Disney World, okay, and then this is Disneyland. I bet you this one's probably, which one do you think is more valuable, this one or this one? I think this one's probably more valuable, but. All right, so let's see what this is. Wow, wow. That's super cool. Limit to 24,000. That is why plates are really, most of the time, not worth anything. I do know sometimes these Disney ones can bring a little money in sets. But I'm assuming they're only probably 10 bucks a pop. I could be totally wrong. But I mean, what I've dealt with plates in the past, they really don't bring much money. Now, these might be a little bit different because these are a massive Disney set. So we will have to wait and see. But... All right, on tote number two. All right, so that is old. That's gotta be, that's gotta be 60s. I mean, you can just tell early 70s, 60s, early 70s. It has little stains on it, but I mean, that's usually expected from these old plushes. 
Now that's something I'm going to try to clean up. I'm going to sew it as is. Just because I don't know what the fabric is inside. And I don't want to try to damage it at all. But that is a cool piece. Oh, look at this one. I mean, you got to get all these little, little stuff off it here. But uh, so this is all fit. Yeah, this definitely feels. This is definitely got to at least be 70s. Maybe in late 60s. I'm thinking this one's 70s. An old plush. Hey, I want to take a quick break from this video today and let you guys know that all these items you're going to see in these videos, we're actually going to be putting on Whatnot for Sale. So on 8-23, Wednesday night, 7-30, we're going to be doing a free Disney show. Everything is going to be free. Our way to get back to the community for all your guys' support. So the big show is actually on 8-30, which is a Wednesday night. I think we're going to do around 7-30, 8 o'clock. I'll put the links down down below if you're not a member of whatnot use our links join you get ten dollars free credit just for joining up the 823 auction is free the 830 auction everything's going to start between between two and four bucks all the items we're going to blow it all out so make sure you guys go there bookmark the shows because it's going to be a blast all right what do we got here it's a fisher price so but this has a wooden base so later on they actually converted to a plastic base so I have to look this up, but this has got to be, I'm assuming, early 70s. Yeah, looks like it works. What is this? Disney's newsletter exclusively for Disney enthusiasts. Disney collection. It looks like a, it looks like it's actually a convention book. Someone's doing local conventions here. And look, here's all the plate prices. Oh my god, they're selling these plates for hundreds of dollars for sets. I mean, look at some of these. 1984 sets. $135 each, $150 each. Videos unopened, $165. So I'm assuming this has got to be from the 80s because VHS tapes back in the 80s, brand new, were going for like $89.99. But because it's Disney, they probably have an upcharge on these. So unopened videos, yeah. Yeah, so this has gotta be from mid 80s. That's crazy. All right, copyright 1993, okay. Could be wrong then. So maybe these are some of the first releases for videos, I don't know. Interesting pricing. All right, what is this? Some old books. Uh, I do remember pulling this out when we were at the uh, the house, but I don't know what it was. How the hell does this thing work? Okay, so that pops up. This pulls down. What is this? Three-step assembly Mickey Mouse book rack. Oh, it's a book rack. Mickey Mouse book rack. I mean, look at that thing. So the cool thing is it actually has the actual original box that came from Disney. It actually says Disney's wonderful world of reading. Learn to draw. Learn to draw the Disney way. Wait, is that? No, I can't be. That's still sealed. I think that's new. Yeah, that is new. I mean, look at the tape on this. That's insane. I didn't know this was new. When we were going through this, man, I just assumed this was open. All right, so. I did quick try to look it up on eBay. In the last 90 days, there's only like four or five listed, but they're all used. They're only listed for like 20 bucks, 30 bucks, but none have sold. But this being brand new, this should bring at least probably at least 100 bucks, I'm assuming. They paid, originally price was $12.99, and then they paid eight bucks for it, so that's cool. What else we got here? It's actually brand new. What is this? It's a puppet? Brand new puppet applause puppets. 
Hi, my name is Mickey Mouse. Our fun-loving friends are ready to perform for you. Excellent crafted puppet design with extra dose of playfulness. Well, this is weird looking. It's Mickey Mouse, but man, Mickey Mouse has never looked like that. Knickerbocker. It's actually a jigsaw puzzle. Mickey Mouse. This is actually brand new. 19, 1981. I mean, the box is beat the hell, but brand new. Man, I didn't know this stuff in this box was brand new. That's crazy. When I checked comps, there was only one sold that was brand new, and that was for $49.99. So based on this box, we'll probably ask maybe 30 to 40 bucks for it. So this is a back scratcher. These random newspaper things, I have no idea what's going to be inside of them. What is in the back of these? Oh, what is this? Oh, I guess you stick them to a wall? They put those on there. I think they put those on there. Put them on display. You guys gotta let me know down in the comments. Is it worth cleaning these up? Or just selling them as is? Walt Disney Vacation Guide. So these old books can actually bring really good money. 1983 how do you reserve your corner of the world old disney this this is cool it's from early uh, 1985 how do you reserve your corner of the world oh my god look at the prices this is insane. First day tickets. 18 bucks, 18 bucks, 18 bucks. Get a three day pass for $54. Man, that's 1985. Now I think it's like $180 for a, three, for a one day pass. That's insane. What is this? This is a tote bag, brand new, from 1984. Walt Disney. Oh, what is this? It's an old Mickey Mouse hat. That's insane. Made in USA, Walt Disney Productions. Let's see the tag here. This is a brand new hair clip for kids. Worth two dollars and ninety nine cents. What is this? Mickey Mouse. I think he just put it there and it rolls around. And a bunch of more promo stuff. I don't even know what's in this. Discover Guide, Walt Disney. Here's a check that actually paid Disney $2 in 1975. Disney Discovery Guide. For 1976. This is crazy. Magic Kingdom is surrounded by 43 square miles of excitement. I mean, look at these photos. <laughs> look how... <laughs> look at those. Magic Kingdom Golf Resort Discover Guide 1980. Man, this whole bag is filled with all kinds of stuff. Discover Guides. This is a bag from Walt Disney. The 21st century begins on October 1st, 1982. Travel Frontiers, Imagine and Discovery, the Epcot Adventure. Oh my god, this is crazy. This is the preview for the Epcot. The future world. What is this? 
postscript. <laughs> what is the Epcot Center today? Is this their like newspaper? 1982. I mean, this is a crazy. I mean, look at that picture. Membership guide, 1981. Old Disney new subscribers, jewelry. 1976. Oh my God, look at those vintage shirts. All right, this is box number three. Man. Epcot Center paperweights. I mean, that's super cool. I mean, Bingo Puzzle Cube. Looks like this was opened and then restapled. Mickey Mouse Mini Wind Up Rides. Looks like a cheap dollar store toy. Actually, dollar forty-seven. Uh, this is gross. Still the candies in there. We got Mickey Mouse pinball machine. Okay, what else we got here? Mickey Mouse soap. So this is bizarre. The actual Mickey Mouse soap. So. With a little research, so this is when you are doing big lots like this, you gotta look for little clues. It says send this in with a 15 cent stamp. So, if you actually know, a 15 cent stamp started in 1978, and then in 1981, they actually went to 18 cent stamps. So, this is late 70s, early 80s. So, all right, so these are weird. These are like the old, like little kid cups from Walt Disney America on Parade, a whole collection of them. These are the, the, they're not plastic. It's almost like the wax on the outside of the cups. This is napkins from Hallmark. There's a Hallmark napkins. Oh, what is this? This is cool. Mickey Mouse Club. Man, this is in super nice condition. Lunchbox. All right. This back does look like. I mean, it feels heavy. That's pray and hope here that the thermos is inside of this so all right ready for the moment of truth and oh i was not expecting that all right well that's weird more of these mini wind-ups who wouldn't want some old 80s disney valentine's day uh cards Disney Christmas cards. Some more Disney vintage Christmas cards. Ah, oh, these are cool. Let there be light. Don't forget the light. For those who don't know, vintage stickers can actually sell for really good money. Especially stickers from like the 80s. Alright, what do we got here? Oh, this is cool. Magic Catch Puppet. This is actually brand new in the box. And I'm assuming this is from, I'm assuming this is from 70s. These I do remember looking up when we were at the place here. They were only going for like 10, 15 bucks a pop. Here. Walt Disney train cup. With a Mickey Mouse wind-up toy. The headband on it with a Mickey Mouse club glassware. This has got to be the most ridiculous thing ever. They saved the sugar packs. Anytime I find these newspapers, it's always a wild card because I have no idea what's in these. Okay, Walt Disney mug. 1977 Walt Disney ornament. Ornament has seen better days, limited edition. All right, what do we got here? Minnie Mouse. Alarm clock? Oh, that's cool. Is that Minnie Mouse? Yes, yeah, that's a Minnie. Yeah, Minnie Mouse. 
That's Mickey. Maybe there was another one someplace. So the box says Minnie Mouse, but this is Mickey. Up out. What is this? This is from Hallmark. This is actually new. This I've, I've actually had one of these before. So. My other one did not work. I'm assuming this one probably doesn't work either. This is in better condition than, than the other one, I think. But. Alright, let's get the fourth tote. Alright, what do we got here? Four's best southern fried peanuts. Weird. Hop Chain Chinese Checkers. I did look at this when we were there, but this is tin. It's in great condition. I mean, what's this? Main Streets of Walt Disney. Little plates. I'm not going to go through these. I'm going to open them up and go through all those right now. More plates over there. That's cool. That's actually a plastic plate. Oh, those are all plates there, but what is this? This is cool. Is that a Pepper shaker, maybe? Salt and pepper shaker? Ludwig Bond Drake. 1961? Huh. Alright, well I gotta look those up. It means the absolute war to me that you guys are here to support me, not only on picking and punching, but also here on flipping and punching. So we really appreciate you guys for doing that. We will be dropping at least one video a week on this channel, so make sure that you guys do like this video and subscribe to the channel if you're not. Hit that little bell up top for the notification. These videos are going to drop on the opposite days of our picking videos. Since this channel is brand new, I'm going to ask for your help on this one. Let me know down in the comments what you guys thought of this video, if this is something you'd like you to see more of these in the future. Also, too, if you have any ideas of stuff you want to see, like what so videos, maybe tutorials, stuff you need help with, with your eBay business or your online reselling business, let me know because this channel is designed to help you guys out, designed to talk more about the backside of it, the business, and we're going to have some fun with it. So I always usually say, make sure you guys keep picking and punching. Well, on this show, make sure you guys keep flipping and punching. <laughs>